Uh, so, uh, hi everyone. So my name is Jason Chen. Uh, so I I'm now working as a software architect for Icon Hypervisor project. So I'm very pleasure here today uh, to give you all of you uh, this presentation uh, to talk about uh, the Icon introduction and also Icon architecture uh, look forward. So <clears throat> let me wait. Uh, so here is the, the agenda. So first, I will give you a quick introduction for Aircon and also give you some overview scenario introduction for Aircon uh, from Aircon 2.0 to Aircon uh, from Aircon 1.0 to Aircon 2.0, and also give you some uh, high level introduction for Aircon hypervisor's uh, architecture, and uh, and then. Uh, uh, we will have one page to talk about the technology uh, evolution for Icon 1.0 to Icon 2.0 now. And also we have some uh, page to talk about the uh, Icon uh, technology look forward for uh, maybe, so maybe just for one uh, uh, important feature um, in, the, in the future, uh, it's a, about the nested support then uh, the one page of con con uh, conclusions, okay? So uh, here comes the quick introduction for Icon. So Icon is actually come from the word A-C-O-R-N. So it's it's a seed of an oak tree, oak tree. So it's very little, but uh, will finally grow up to a giant. So we hope Icon hypervisor just like this seed, just like uh, you can see the seed uh, here. So uh, we hope Icon Hypervisor just like this seed. It's little with very small footprint of cold, uh, but at the same time, it's big with great power of for IoT uh, features cons consideration. Uh, so in one sentence, <coughs> Icon is a flexible open source lightweight reference hypervisor that is built uh, with focus on real time and the functionality, uh, sorry, and the func functional safety requirement. And it, it is op optimized to streamline uh, development cycle for embedded systems. And it's a Linux foundation project launched in March, 2018. And, and it had uh, its version 1.0 and 2.0 uh, released in uh, 2019 and 2020. And in the coming weeks, uh, we will have version 2.5 release. Okay, uh, so it's a very quick introduction for the, the Icon hypervisor. Uh, here come uh, to the scenario uh, introduction. So, so here, uh, this picture actually show an overview of Icon 1.0 scenario. So as you can see, uh, Icon is a type one hypervisor, uh, which, ten, uh, which runs on the bare uh, and based on uh, intervirtualization uh, technology, it supports different virtual machines runs on it. Uh, and you, a unique service VMs uh, is Icon Hypervisor first created virtual machine. And it actually on almost all hardware resources and uh, provide the service for the right side user VMs, uh, which will, uh, for these user VMs, which uh, will actually be launched by the device model uh, in the service VMs later. Uh, so, for the service OS, uh, it's now based on Yakto or Ubuntu, and it's very easy to extend to any Linux-based OS. So Icon 1.0 is designed for, uh, actually first designed for automotive software uh, defined cockpit usage. So as you can see, we now have instruction. Uh, here is just an example. So we, 
we now have uh, uh, in charm and the cluster runs on uh, runs in the service via, service OS. And beside this, we also have the device model uh, runs in the service OS. It could uh, it could help to create uh, different user VMs for IVI purpose. Uh, so the user OS could be Android, could be AGL and Cray Linux, and uh, and also could be Yakto, Ubuntu, or AliOS. So all these user OS supports supported IVI are naturally isolated with instrument uh, cluster running in the service OS as they are in different uh, virtual machine uh, based on inter-virtualization uh, technology. So at the meantime, uh, the device model also provided uh, rich IO sharing uh, mediators for user, for user VMs. It can support the most popular devices like uh, graphics, like uh, USB, like audio and the camera, et cetera. And at the same time, uh, it also provided uh, advanced DMA graphics buffer sharing uh, mechanism uh, between the user VM and the service VM uh, through hyper DMA solution. So we have a hyper DMA solution to share the graphic memory between the user VM and the service VMs. So from uh, the, uh, the overview, uh, if you are familiar with the data center hypervisor, uh, the icon architecture is actually a little like Zen, uh, but the difference between, between them is Zen running its service domain in root mode, while icon is running its service domain in a VM. Okay. So if you have any question, please just uh, interrupt me. Okay. Uh, this is the scenario for icon 2.2.x, or we can say it's two point from 2.0. So I I I, I wouldn't like not uh, I would not to detail all the uh, uh, all the uh, picture here, but uh, I just want to show the major difference com uh, compared to icon 1.0 scenario. So. So you can see the right side is actually very similar as Icon 1.0. The difference, uh, one difference here is that we support a hybrid mode, which means we support a pre-launched VM. The pre-launched VM actually is uh, pre-launched by hypervisor before service VM start. Uh, the pre-launched VM can have its partitioned resources uh, like uh, with its partitioned uh, devices, with its partitioned CPU and its partitioned uh, memory. Uh, with this, and also based on inter uh, virtualization technology, uh, it can provide a good isolation uh, between the pre launch VMs and the right side uh, service VM and its post launch VMs. So we call all the right side is uh, it's a sharing mode and uh, and the uh, call the left side here as a partition mode. <clears throat> so the, uh, uh, the second uh, difference uh, uh, compared to Icon 1.0 is we support post-launch RTVMs. Uh, it's it designed for, you know, for the RT workload, uh, like we can run RTOS like VxWorks and RT Linux, preempt RT Linux in it. And uh, and uh, we do a lot of, you know, uh, the, the, the changes uh, and the, the, uh, the improvement uh, for, for the RTVMs uh, uh, to, to reduce the, you know, the VM uh, 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 virtualizations uh, penalty and, uh, and to reduce the VM exit uh, penalty. Uh, like we 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 will try to use the partition the resource for the for the RTVM, and we will also uh, for uh, do partitions for the for the resource like cache, and also we enable the local epic pass through, <clears throat> and also uh, with our polling mode for RTVM to imp to improve the RT performance. Uh, 
uh, and to to reduce uh, you know the 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 VM exit for this RTVM and to to seek uh, the good RT performance for the RTVMs. Uh, and the, the other thing uh, for from the icon 2.0 is that we also support the Kata container uh, in in the in icon 2.0, and also we we support the Windows as Windows as a guest uh, like a SMI uh, in the industrial uh, industrial uh, segment or industrial solution. So normally uh, for this scenario, we may focus. Uh, focus on industrial control, which means we can use service VM plus HMI plus RTVM to provide uh, RT, uh, RT uh, capability uh, and also provide the uh, uh, isolated uh, HMI uh, as an interface to, to the controller. And also uh, for this, we, we, we can support the full uh, function, function safety uh, use case. Like we uh, currently, we support the uh, safety VM uh, as a pre-launch VM, and uh, and uh, we can support the one user VM uh, as uh, the other uh, side VM. Uh, uh, this is kind of uh, logical partition mode, which means we have two pre-launch VMs. We we don't have the service VM, and in the future, we may also can extend it to support a safety VM in the left side, and we can support the service VM and plus it's post launch the user VMs. Okay. Okay, here uh, is uh, the architecture of the, of the aircon hypervisor. Uh, it's for 2.0. So, so you know, uh, the, the 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 detail technology here may be boring, but I I want uh, I may want to uh, detail all of it, of it, and uh, make maybe some of you guys want to know such details. Uh, so I will just uh, uh, high uh, from the high level uh, to describe our models here. So from the bottom to top, so we have. Uh, uh, inter-specific platform support, uh, which has a CSE as a root of trust. And based on, based on this platform uh, parameter, we can uh, we run firmware uh, on it, just like a normal uh, platform. Uh, uh, and Icon can support the firmware like, uh, like a general PC uh, supported UEFI firmware or uh, Slim boot firmware uh, for embedded case, uh, which need a fast boot. So based on this firmware, uh, we can start uh, Aircon hypervisor uh, based on multi-boot uh, protocol. And in the Aircon hypervisor, uh, we support the inter virtualization technology like VMX for CPU, uh, EPT for memory, and uh, VTD for DMA. So uh, and in the hypervisor, we also provide the necessary hypercore for VM man management. So service VM may, may call this hypercore to manage the post-launch VM's life cycle uh, based on these hypercores. And also in the, in the aircon hypervisor, we provide a uh, necessary device model, which means necessary uh, emulated device uh, for you know for some uh, performance critical device like like uh, interrupt controller uh, for example for uh, virtual peak virtual locate peak uh, virtual IOI peak uh, etc and uh, and also for for isolation purpose uh, and we we also put some necessary uh, emulated device in the in the aircon hypervisor. As well, like uh, virtual PCI, uh, virtual bridge, and also some other device like uh, uh, virtual UART and uh, virtual RTC. So virtual UART uh, actually it almost uh, it can be used to inter VM com communication, or it can also be used to uh, to do the cancel. And also, uh, 
we support the CPU schedule, which enables CPU sharing uh, between different user VMs. Okay, so so the, uh, uh, compared to to Acom 1.0, so so we already mentioned in in the scenario of Acom 1.0. Uh, in Acom 1.0, uh, the service VM will be the first launched VMs uh, created by uh, by Acom hypervisor. But uh, in Acom 2.0, if uh, if we have a pre-launched VM, it means we we need the first launch pre-launched VM, and this pre-launched VM will have uh, configured uh, uh, resources. We 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 configure these resources uh, during build time and uh, and make sure the pre-launch VM have has its dedicated uh, uh, partition resource like it like a device like device resource. Uh, yes, uh, it can be passed through device and uh, and also uh, it can use some uh, partition resource like CPU and uh, and the memory. And uh, and also it can support hypervisor emulator device. Okay, after pre-launch the VM start, uh, we will start a service VM. The service VM will will own all left resources, uh, except uh, the resource uh, being owned by pre-launch VM. And uh, in the service VM, uh, we have. Uh, like native device driver to support all all the left resource pass through to service VM, and based on this, and ba also based on Acon provided a service VM driver, we we uh, we can run Acon device model here, and the Acon device model can use I/O control to to talk with Acon service driver. And uh, and the Acon service driver use Hypercore to talk with Acon, uh, then we can use this Acon device model to provide a, a VM management uh, for the post launch VM. Like we can create a VM and shut down VM through this, and and also uh, in the Acon device model we provide a different uh, emulator device, uh, uh, just like Cumul. Uh, we can support the volatile device like for volatile storage, volatile network, and also we can provide uh, some device model emulator device. And uh, for the right side user VMs, uh, it's we call it post-launch VMs. Uh, it uh, it uh, uh, it uh, it uh, run based on a virtual uh, firmware. Uh, currently, we use OVMF for it. So, device model can launch use VM uh, through through a virtual firmware OVMF, and uh, and the OVMF can then uh, following uh, to to run the use OS use VM's OS. So, based on this, uh, uh, a user VM actually can support can support uh, different. Uh, Emulator the device, uh, like uh, it can support the uh, uh, service VM provided a virtual device. It can support the uh, uh, device model, service VM device model emulator device, and uh, it also can support the hypervisor emulator device, and uh, and also it can support the pass through device, like this way. So. So for RTVM, actually, is one type of or also one type of post-launch VM. Uh, so uh, for good uh, RT performance purpose, uh, we we will we will recommend that uh, use to use without uh, polling mode driver, and also only to use pass through device driver uh, to to use pass through devices resource. So. Uh, so normally we will not recommend that uh, user to use emulator uh, device, uh, especially in device model emulator device, because for RTVM, uh, if you use this kind of device, it will trigger a long trip. Uh, if you, if you need to do the emulation of the of this device, so you need a uh, chop down to the icon hypervisor, then back to. Uh, to the service VM, then back to the user user model uh, device model, uh, 
after its operation, then then the same parts to come back to the to the VM. So basically, we don't uh, recommend that you to use emulated device. Okay. So so uh, as you can see, uh, compared to Icon 1.0, so we have uh, increment of workload number and the types. So we have branch VMs, we have RT VMs, and we also have different safety VM or, uh, or secure VM even, secure VM for branch VM support. So, the, so for Icon 2.0, we have architecture changes to resource usage and isolation. Okay. Uh, so this page actually show the technology uh, evolution. Uh, uh, we we uh, just show here is the, the evolution uh, from Icon 1.0 to 2.0. So you can see we have a different uh, type uh, evolution here. So so first one is workload support. So so in Icon 1.0, we just support the standard workload, uh, like enjoy it, like uh, uh, like IVI uh, kind of uh, uh, wet machine, and uh, <clears throat> and uh, and in Icon 2.0, we intended to support safety and uh, safety VM and uh, real time VM, and also we can support the Qatar, and we also can support the secure VM as a branch VM. So for for this workload management and the control, so so uh, 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 Icon 1.0, we we have predefined uh, uh, workload. For example, if if we just run a SDA, SDC, uh, or uh, we 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 may just uh, predefined instruct instrument the cluster in the service VM and uh, and run one Android as IVI. So, so we, we cannot uh, dynamically uh, to launch two different uh, Android or launch three or launch uh, or, or land back to two. So, so we support the uh, uh, orchestration uh, in the in the Icon two point zero. We add some libvirt support uh, to 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 Icon hypervisor, and uh, we can we can do orchestration based on libvirt. And uh, for scenario support, the second one is scenario support. So, so for the Icon 1.0, we call it the sharing mode, which means that uh, we we will we will run service VM, and uh, and the service VM actually provided uh, all the resources sharing between the different uh, post-launch user VMs. Uh, but uh, in Icon 2.0, we add pre-launch VM. That means we we provide a partition support, which means uh, there there is a partition VM uh, before service VM, and if there is no service VM, then we the me we may just support the logic partition with different pre-launch VMs, and if there is also a service VM, then we call it a hybrid mode, which means we have a partition plus sharing mode together we can support. So for the usage uh, scenario support uh, for Icon 1.0, we, we, we only support, uh, we use, uh, we, we mainly support the SDC uh, usage, uh, which is for automotive segment. And, uh, and for Icon 2.0, we, we intend to support the inductor uh, scenario, and also we, we support the FUSA scenario. So, because we have a different uh, scenario, then we this lead, leads to different uh, uh, concept here. Like we have a different concept of VM loader, VM VM loader order. Uh, we just like what I mentioned, a pre-launched a service VM and also a post-launch VM. And we have VM severity model here uh, because we know different VM may have different severity. So, so we have a safety VM uh, with higher severity. We have RTVM uh, with also higher severity and service VM and also standard VM with lower uh, severity. Uh, the severity means that high severity can 
can impact the low severity VM, but low severity VM cannot impact high severity VM. And based on different scenario support, we also have uh, uh, different uh, uh, VM uh, power management support. So, you know, uh, we sort of pre launch VM, uh, we the, the, uh, the shutdown and the report uh, is different compared to Acon 1.0. And uh, the second part, uh, the third part is resource management. So, so, so of in Icon 1.0, we have service OS uh, and the device model to to maintain all the resources because all resources are passed through to service OS to service VM. But uh, but in Icon 2.0, we have pre launch VM, so it it must extend to hypervise on the device which means that such device cannot be uh, owned by, by branch VM or by service VM directory. Uh, for example, like uh, PCI device, uh, PCI bars, uh, we, we need to ensure uh, that uh, uh, some, some PCI operation when, uh, which may, need, may impact uh, uh, different uh, devices uh, pass through to, you know, to different VM. Then we need to ensure, uh, 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 for example, if we, if the reset uh, in capability in the in the bridge, uh, if we have a such capability in the bridge, if we pass through this bridge device to to one VM, it means uh, this VM can reset all the sub uh, all the downstream devices in uh, under this uh, bridge. If this, if if this uh, different uh, downstream device pass through to different VM, then it means uh, one VM with this uh, bridge can impact uh, the other VMs. So it means we need need we must move this uh, this kind of PCI bridge into the into the hypervisor. So so we do one well, we did one thing is to split the device model which means we must uh, move some important device from the from the device model to the hypervisor and also uh, for the usage model we support the sharing and partitioning mode and uh, based on it we 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 we, we want to share more cpus uh, capabilities so we enable the cpu sharing uh, and also uh, for pre launch VM, uh, we also need to support uh, its HPI devices, which means for pre launch VM, we need to do some HPI customization, so which is for resource distribution for the pre launch VMs. And for tour, for Icon 1.0, uh, we support a different debug tool and uh, we support uh, the uh, configuration tool uh, to build, uh, build the hypervisor. Uh, but in Icon 2.0, uh, we have branch VM. Uh, the branch VM actually we need, a, need to do the configure uh, during the build time. So we add one configuration tool of that configuration tool, which used to the configuration for branch VM. Uh, and uh, for hardware support, you know, uh, we, we use only support. Uh, at home, at home uh, platform. So now we extend to more uh, different uh, uh, type of uh, CPU support, uh, like we, we can support the core, we can support Zen. And also uh, with with new uh, platform support, we may have new advantage, advanced feature support uh, uh, in, in the future or in the Icon 2.0. So you can see, uh, into your Icon 2.0, we add uh, SRV uh, support. Uh, we also add the device post, uh, post interrupt support. We and for for RT performance, uh, we we add the split lock uh, detection support, and also we have uh, uh, memory, memory bandwidth allocation support. Okay, so hey, any question here? Yeah. So if let us know, uh, I will move. So, yeah. Okay. Jason? So, Jason? yeah. 
Yeah, Stephen here. Just a, a quick, well, not a question for you, but just a, a time check. Do so you have another ten minutes okay. for your presentation? So. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah I, I will. Yeah, I will quick. So, so this is uh, some. Uh, uh, this is uh, uh, the slides talk about the looking forward. So, so we may have a different asks from the customer. So, uh, wait, um, for example, so customer may. I want to may ask could Econ support orchestration well? So you know we now we support uh, uh, Libervert uh, to support Econ, but I think uh, uh, we do not do very very uh, good uh, 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 you know uh, like uh, 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 the the test uh, uh, for for the full test of this orchestration. So. So in the real use case, uh, so I think uh, maybe we cannot say we support it, it very, very well. And also uh, maybe some customer will when use, when, when ask uh, could Cumul run on Icon. So Icon actually, uh, we have different uh, device model. So it's different, it's similar as Cumul, but uh, we, we provide a different device model uh, here. So, so we cannot run QML based on Icon directory. So the following is that uh, if we use Icon demo a device model, is Icon device model mature enough? Um, so we cannot say uh, we uh, Icon device model is could be mature enough for like uh, QML. Uh, so, so based on it, uh, we have some, you know, you know uh, uh new feature uh and the uh, big big changes for for nested uh, virtualization support so this is actually a previewed feature so we will still keep uh, the older support mode but uh, but we will seek we will seek for uh you know uh for the feedback from from customer from users to see if we can use uh nest virtualization mode in the future, so in nest virtualization mode, uh, we we will <coughs> keep the partition VMs uh, like pre launch VMs for partition resource for performance and isolation sensitive guests like uh, RT VMs, like safety VM, like secure VMs, and also we change the service VMs to KVM VM, which is a level one uh, VMs. So KVM VM can be used for sharing resources for addition, for additional guests. And based on this, you can run QMU to support the different workload. And also level two virtual machine actually is, is a nested virtual machine running in level one KVM. This level, level two virtual machine uh, we can support it for performance and isolation, no sensitive guests. Okay, so this is the uh, major uh, major uh, difference can, uh, and the major uh, uh, describer for the nested virtualization support. So we want to see. Uh, uh, we we will release this support, basic uh, basic support, pre uh, preview support uh, in our version version 2.5 and we will seek uh, for the feedback uh, for the customer uh, to see if this model can be uh, can be used to uh, commit all of these uh, requirement of uh, different customers okay okay uh, maybe I will not uh, uh, detail this load map because it's very draft uh, load map. So I so I want to dis uh, skip this uh, and uh, and uh, if you uh, want to see this, you can see the see the slice offline. Uh, and here comes the conclusions. So 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 first, uh, you know, Icon uh, uh, already have. You know, uh, have uh, created for three three years. So, Icon celebrated its uh, sad uh, birthdays mm -hmm. this year, and uh, Icon is uh, is uh, continue doing uh, constant evolution uh, for different requirement support and also for the new feature support. 
And the second one is Econ's jointly uh, focus on uh, IoT and edge uh, characteristics, uh, for example, like uh, real time and the uh, full usage. So here uh, we also want to call for people uh, to engage and help the developer Econ to meet the diverse uh, requirements. So you can uh, scan the QR code here uh, to join us. Mm, yep. Yeah. yeah, uh this is my last page. Thanks a lot, uh, Jason. So... so thanks a lot for, for this presentation. We have a, a, a few minutes before the end of the, mm -hmm. the session. So I don't know if there are any questions uh, in the audience from anyone. Mm -hmm. If you do just here? unmute yourself. Or raise your hand. I think you may have an option to raise your hand in Zoom as well if you want to. I didn't have a question, but there were some questions on chat. I'm not sure if they are answered or not. Uh, yeah, there was a yeah, there was a question on the chat that I looked at, but I think that's it. Or was there more on the chat that I missed? Okay. Oh no, no, there is one. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, no, no, I think that's all on the chat. Okay. Mm. So does that mean it's all crystal clear? Perfect. Uh -huh. Great. Okay. Very good. If no more questions, then I think we'll uh, really soon move to the next one. And um, she's on again. Thanks, so much. Thanks for your presentation. If you do have Thank offline you. questions, feel free to reach out to us. I mean, you, you, we have our email addresses listed on the slides. We will post these slides in the video recording as well after, after the event. Mm -hmm. um, another good mechanism if you want to reach us is to uh, use the mailing list directly. 